Men's physique, guys. Stop showing your legs. Just because they ripped don't mean they're developed. If they look like anything, you would be in classic. Hey guys, even here, and we have something fun for today. So the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia female bodybuilding division, Margie Martin, also known as Margie Marvelous, calls out men's physique guys, saying that they should stop showing their legs because they don't have any leg development. Just because they are conditioned, just because their legs are ripped, it doesn't mean they are developed, they are big enough for them to show off their legs. And that's what she says, and uh, she has enormous legs. I mean, take a look at this, this is freaking insane. Even for a bodybuilding fan, as myself, this is just not normal, this is just freaky as hell. I don't know, you might find this appealing. Me personally, I definitely do admire it. I think it's freaking impressive. And it is very interesting to see a woman this muscular. Anyways, she has the leg development. She definitely does, like those legs are better than most bodybuilders, like top open bodybuilders. How many of them have legs like this? This big, this conditioned and with this kind of shape? Wow, it's just a rare thing to see on a woman or on a man. So she does have the credibility to talk about other people's leg development, but saying that men's physique guys should stop showing their legs because they're not developed, I mean, I don't know about that. Here is Jeremy Buendia, probably the most dominant men's physique competitor of all time. I think he was Mr. Olympia for four or five years in a row. And you gotta give it to him, you gotta admit, he had good legs. I mean, I don't know how good would they be if he actually stood on stage um, showing off his massive upper body because he was big upstairs. I mean, compared to his upper body, maybe maybe the legs wouldn't be that big, but based on what I'm seeing right here, yeah, those legs are big enough. They are big enough. He's a former bodybuilder. He started as a bodybuilder, and then when the men's physique division came out, he decided to do that because he was very well suited for it. But he never stopped training those legs, and they do look great. I mean, look at the conditioning of the glutes and the hamstrings as well, and the development of the glutes, of the quads, of the hamstrings. But hey, Margie said that if their legs are ripped, it doesn't mean they are developed. So basically, she is giving them the conditioning. She knows that they can get ripped, I mean, their legs. But uh, the, the size, here you can see that from this angle, Jeremy's legs don't look that big. But here from this one, they do look pretty big. Uh, yeah, again, the conditioning, they, they have the conditioning. She gave them that. She's just saying that they don't have the development. I would disagree as far as Jeremy Buendia, for example. But is he a unique case, or are there other men's physique top competitors who actually have good legs? Well, let's check out the current men's physique Mr. Olympia champion, Brandon Hendricks, and this is his legs. And his legs, not as good as Jeremy Buendia's, I don't think so, but they do have a pretty aesthetic shape, here is him out of shape for some reason. Um, he does have a decent shape, and yeah, he can get them ripped. They are not huge, he doesn't have huge legs, for sure. But uh, they are pretty developed, I mean, no, they are not as developed as bodybuilders, of course, and no, not like classic VZ guys, but for a guy who works out, who has a beach body, those legs are good, I mean, they're not weak, they're not horrible, but they are not big, no, those legs are not big, and compared to his upper body, that's the main thing, like, his upper body is huge for his legs. So yeah, those legs could definitely be bigger, I mean, here you can see it, like, the back is huge, and the legs way too small, so he probably should not be showing off, like this, not like this, I mean, he's posing and showing off his legs, they are too small, it just looks silly, it just looks like Johnny Bravo, so I can get what Margie is saying, yeah, these guys should not be posing like this, if they don't have big legs, he has the potential though, but here's the thing, like, if you have small arms, for example, that is necessarily the genetic thing, because everybody can train arms, that's easy, right? But if your legs are small, it kind of means that you are weak-minded, because it's really tough to train legs hard. And if you train your legs very hard, they will grow, so if you have small legs, that's kind of embarrassing. And these guys most often do have small legs. Yeah, it's probably partly genetic, but I'm sure most of them don't really train their legs hard. And showing them off like this, that only means one good thing. So it's showing us that he has the potential to be a good classic bodybuilder because he has the shape. He just needs to train them really hard in order for them to grow. So that's about it. But showing them off just for, for the sake of showing them off? No, don't do it. They are looking very small and it doesn't look good. No, it does not look good. I get what Margie is saying.
Let's check out Jeremy Potvin, another top man physique competitor. Also pretty much the same thing, like his legs ripped for sure, but way too small for his upper body, way, way too small. I mean, uh, honestly, I don't even see a great potential for him to be a great classic physique competitor because his legs just don't have really the shape. It could happen though, but if it didn't happen by now, I don't think he ever will. Also his calves are really small. So yeah, unless he's planning on competing in Classic Physique and he's really working on uh, development of the legs and he's gonna show us the entire progress, process, he should not post stuff like this because it just looks silly. I mean, his upper body is huge. Those legs, those arms, the shoulders, the back, it's all really huge. Just the legs, really tiny. Here we have Raymond Edmonds, who is 2019 Men's Physique Mr. Olympia Champion. And his upper body looks really great. I mean, he has that avatar type of body with wider shoulders. But take a look at those tiny, tiny little legs, those chicken legs. I mean, compare his legs to his upper body, really small, <laughs> really tiny. And I'm sure this guy never trains legs. I don't think he ever squatted once in his life. And he's well aware of it. Scroll through his Instagram account. You won't find any leg photos. So he knows how weak his legs are and therefore he's not showing them. Okay, except for this one time a few years ago. <laughs> so yeah, this is one photo, but this is not exactly showing off the legs. He just took a photo in his boxers, and I think that's fine. Sometimes, I mean, we all have physiques, like no matter the division. And I don't think there's anything wrong with you taking a photo in your boxers, in your underwear. If you want to show off your entire physique, you shouldn't always take a photo in, in freaking shorts or, or sweaters or whatever. So it, I think it's fine, but like showing off your leg progress, you know, show, exactly filming your legs. If you are, if you have legs like this, I mean, look at his legs, they're so horrible, like they are, I mean, he's ripped, he's shredded, that's why you can see some actual muscle down there and also he's on gear, so even if he doesn't train those legs, even if he just does cardio or bike or whatever, his legs will grow a little, I mean, they will have some development for sure, but compared to his upper body, really, really tiny, so that's why he's not really showing them off very often, and I don't, and I don't think Marvelous Margie was talking about him, she was talking about the other guys who are showing off their legs way more often, like Jeremy Potwin, Brandon Hendricks, and the others. Andre Ferguson is very well aware that his legs are just horrible, horrible, I mean, look at his legs, <laughs> look at those calves, like, can they be any higher, if they were higher, they would be, like, uh, on his knees, I mean, <laughs> those calves are insanely high, and the legs are really small, uh, he looks like he's training them every now and often, and, yeah, his legs are having some development, but for a guy of his size in the upper body, way too small and he's well aware because he describes them in this in this photo like uh, tweaks you can see it in the description so basically he's trolling himself he's admit admitting that like look at the sweep like it's just a flat line completely flat line <laughs> like there is nothing there i mean i am kind of trolling and making fun of these man's physique competitors but they don't they know that i mean they know that uh, their legs are weak and that's why they are in man's physique and what marjorie is saying don't show off their legs. I mean, if you're doing man physique, if you have great upper body, huge upper body and small legs, great, that's your division, but don't show off your legs. If they are conditioned, that doesn't mean that they are developed and they more certainly are not, in most cases. There is this guy, this guy is showing off his legs very often and he's a top Mr. Olympia man physique competitor and his legs are also pretty poor. Like, he is one of those guys who should not show off his legs like this. I mean, look at him. They're too small for his upper body and he's showing off. But then there is this guy, Carlos de Oliveira, and his legs are great. Like, this guy is also a top men's physique Mr. Olympia competitor, and, um, yeah, his legs are pretty good. I mean, not great, I wouldn't say really great, I mean, I said it, but I don't really mean it, they're not great. They are decent, they are pretty good for a men's physique competitor. If he decided to switch to classic, he would have to train them really hard in one off-season, and they would be big enough. I mean, because his upper body is pretty big, but you can't say these legs are small. He has a decent set of legs, pretty good legs, actually. And then there is no reason to mention guys who actually made that transfer from Men's Physique to Classic, like Logan Franklin here, with a great leg development. Same thing goes with Sadik Hadjovic. He also is uh, saying that he might be coming back to the stage again. I don't think he has the potential to be a top Classic Physique competitor anymore. He had it only first year, and uh, the next year not really. And even though he was much better, uh, the quality of competitors right now is just much higher. His legs are great. And then you also have an, ama an amazing example of uh, Stanimal, 
who basically went from men's physique to classic physique to 212 and now he's in the open bodybuilding and he looks like a freak right now if you check out his instagram you'll see he's huge and his legs absolutely enormous so there are some exceptions to the rule uh, these three guys for example who actually made the transfer and jeremy buendia also i think his legs are pretty great so that's about what Margie Marvelous has to say about the men's physique division. They have no leg development and they should stop showing off their legs. What do you guys think though? They should stop? I mean, even if they don't have great legs, should they post sometimes? Just for us fans to see what is going on, how these men's physique guys are looking like downstairs? Or should they just stop it because it's disturbing or something? And what do you think? Is that the truth? Like, is it true that all the men's physique competitors don't have legs? And would they all go to classic if they actually had legs? Are they in men's physique only because of that reason? Because they are lazy to train legs or they just don't have the great leg genetics? Or do they actually love men's physique division as it is? Whatever you guys think, whatever is on your mind, please comment down below. Let's discuss this topic. It's an interesting topic. I will, I will respond to as many comments as I can. I will try to respond to all of them. So please comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you want to see more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to this channel. I will bury you with content in the next weeks, days, months, years, whatever. <laughs> Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.